Army pedals! These are the Fanatec Club Sport version 2 pedals. I've had them on my rig for quite a while now. Let's just say they've been testing. Army pedals! Can we keep them behind? Twice in one race! Come on! Oh! He's catching, he's catching, he's catching, he's catching! Oh, this is so unfair! We're gonna have to let him past. Unfair! Oh no, me pedals have done the pedals thing. I don't have full throttle anymore. Oh. And now I've made a mistake and we're off. This is highly unusual. Disconnect the pedals. Reconnect the pedals. Well, that's a disaster. Oh, not me pedals! Look, I've lost a bit of the accelerator! Ah! They're pissing me off now. Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't a complain and bash Fanatec video. I bought them off eBay, they were second hand, and that was years ago now. All things have the uh, lifespan. I suppose they've just got to it. These pedals, like the clutch and the accelerator, have a hall sensor on them and something was just not right with it. I got to the point where I was pretty much every race losing the top end of my accelerator and I ended up not being able to drive at all. Time for some new pedals then, eh, I suppose? Well, it's not quite that easy, is it? You need some money for that. And I didn't have an awful lot of it, especially if I wanted an air load cell on the brake. There's not that much that comes in at under a couple of hundred. So, what was a man to do? It was time to strip down the rig, get those pedals out, and see if I could refit the electronics. Got to be able to do that, eh? The easiest way to do the setup was with potentiometers for the clutch and the accelerator and then keep the load cell that was already there. And my first thought was to use an Arduino Uno to let the computer talk to the pedals. But it turned out the load cell was going to be a bit finicky with it. So I had a good look round and Leo Bodner to the rescue. They had a pre-made 16-bit load cell interface which was only £25. They also had a 3-wire to 4-wire load cell interface to make use of the Fanatec load cell that was already there. With the electronics sorted, it was time to get on with sorting the pedals out. Some brackets to hold the potentiometers, some rose joints and a bit of threaded rod to stick it all together and there we have some working pedals. This is one of a few things that killed the channel off last year. It's so frustrating to try and race while you've got a set of pedals that you never know whether they're going to work or not. You're heading into a race, you're all pumped, you're doing really well, and halfway through, they stop working. It's the most infuriating thing. Never mind, I've had them fixed for what seems to be a few weeks now and they seem to be holding up really well. So hopefully, 
Fanatec Leo Bodner pedals are here to stay. Well, until I decide to make a set of hydraulic pedals, but maybe sometime in the future. Et voila! If you've enjoyed taking a look at the misery of running with broken pedals, please leave a like on the video. If you want to see me upcoming content, please hit subscribe. That'll notify you when I upload a video. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.